Hey buddy, it's John here, and today we're going to be working on a retro side-scrolling shooter game called Grotto. So let's get straight to this. So I have a whole bunch of files, and it's on my actual second screen. So I'll pop those up so you guys can see them. So here's some of the files, and this is for the uh, main menu. So it will actually be a parallax scrolling. A lot of guys, a lot of you guys, actually wanted me to go into that to go in more depth. Well, this. Li this literally this menu has the whole background um, almost depth perception set up so we're going to be doing that and then we're also going to be going into uh, play buttons uh, logo stuff um, and then actual graphics so we'll have uh, we'll be messing around with the tile editor We'll have the player, so we'll have his run, his shoot, his jump, and then his yay, and then the mode. Health, pickups, so we have health pickups, we have some blaster effects, and we have some more pickups. So extra life, um, I guess armor, or some like a, a key, and then some sort of ice cream or something like that. Uh, we have the enemies. We have a bat enemy. We have a regular orange dragon dude enemy. And we have um, some sort of blob. So we're going to be messing around with those guys. Alright, so uh, what, uh, so first of all, I'm going to go into new. And we're going to do a new empty project. And this project is going to be called Grotto. Description. Adventure platform game author John email I have no idea website do that later ID will leave that version one um, preview I'm going to do the NWJS so it pops up just like a normal Windows program. Also tell me if it will work on Android and we will be running this on Windows, Android, and Congregate. Alright, so we're going to import the project. So we're going to go insert new object. We're going to insert um, a sprite. Place that. We're going to open up a file. It's going to be the Sakara background. And we're going to move it to fit in with this squared area. And then what we're going to do is, let's see, layout size, view. So the whole actual window size is a 54 by 480. So we're just going to say that. And it's this voila, it's this, this. So I'm also going to add a behavior to this. So it's going to be a fade in and fade out. So um, time to fade in is four. Wait time is four and fade out time is four. So about 12 seconds. So what we're going to do at that point is on event. On start of layout, we're going to add an action system. And we're going to say wait. We're going to say wait. And we're going to say 12 seconds. Done. And then we're going to say go to next layouts. But we don't have one yet. Go to layout. See some people have been having issues with going to the layout system and I will always choose I always I never use anything else other than go to layout because I can choose what layout you're going to go to but a lot of people have been actually um, going on to was it I think it was the next layout So let's delete that. Add that system layout. Go to next or previous layout. That, I mean, it's good, but I always choose go to layout because I could choose layout one, two, three, four. If you do this, maybe you skip a level and you go to that level. 
I mean, I just, it just, this just gives me more control, and I've always done this, even if I was in Game Maker or something like that. Alright, so let's run this layout. So we're going to enter, and then we're going to save this, and then we're going to exit. And then, there we go, we're fading out. And then we enter it again, so we're just going to constantly fade. Alright, so what we need to actually do is name this, so I'm going to name it um, Starter Screen and I'm going to go to Layout and Add a Layout Add Event Sheet. Always add an Event Sheet. Also, a lot of people uh, have been asking me, hey, do I always need to name my layouts? No, you don't. Uh, some people prefer it, like um, Starter Screen menu, loading screen, so on and so forth. You don't have to. As long as you've got a, um, you know, you know that layout one is your logo screen, layout two, your menu screen, layout three, maybe a first level, uh, first level, or a, um, a level selecting screen, or a loading screen, then you've got your work done. So we're going to insert another screen and it's going to be a sprite and this is going to be the menu. So I'm now going to choose the background. So there's that. Okay. And again, the same thing with this. We're going to just say that the layout size is about that big. I'm going to make three of these. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add layers. So all these three images are on the same layer and what I'm going to do now is go to behaviors and I'm going to add wrap around so whenever they enter or exit the scene they just continually wrap around and then we're going to add bullets alright so they're all collected at 400 but I'm now going to move them at 50 we're going to run layout to see how that looks And this is so, usually the base layer will either move faster or slower to the rest so it looks like you have some sort of depth. Now right now it's just a shading of purple, so it doesn't look that awesome. But now when we add another layer on top, and then when we actually select, it's the active layer now, it's layer 1. Because we have all our stuff on layer 0. We're going to insert another sprite, so sprite is going to be this dust and actually we can add all the coding to this one and then just duplicate it so again I'm going to add the wraparound effect and then I am going to add the bullet effect and then what we're going to do is we're just going to clone this guy. Now you can't offset it a bit to, ca to cause a little bit more, you know, effect. But I think I'll just leave it as normal. And then the planets, we're just going to have uh, one of them, one of each. So again, uh, remember we need to actually add some layers to so layer 2. Insert a planet. Um, I'll do the big planet, and then I'll just place them right there, and then we'll add the same behaviors. Um, so look, I'll wrap around, and then bullet. At this point, you may want to test around with how fast he's going, because 
these particle debris that I added, uh, the space dust is going around at 400. We have our background sprites, which we actually need to rename. Base background. And then space dust, rename space dust. And planet underscore one. All right, so the space dust, I'm going to uh, move to at a different speed. It's going to be moving at the speed of 20. This planet is going to be moving at the speed of 15. And if we take a look at that, we now have some sort of effect. Now I'm going to add some more stuff so it actually looks a lot better. So I'm going to add another layer. And then I'm going to insert another object. And that object is going to be these two planets. And they're going to be down here. And then we're going to add a behavior. So the behavior is going to be wrap around. And now we're also going to add bullet. And now these guys are going to move slower. So they're going to be at the speed of 10. And if we add one more layer, we can insert the last sprite, this other planet that's on that side. And he's going to be, uh, let's play around with this one. Um, put him there for now. Let's see how that looks. And then we'll add a behavior of wrap and then bullet. It'll be at speed of 10 and we can play around with that. You can move it how fast or as slow as you want it to be. I don't want it to be too fast because I'm going to be playing some um, spacey audio tracks over it. And as soon as they leave the scene, they will re-enter into the, um, the other side. There we go. It just takes a while for him to actually get to that side. There we go. Now we have all the planets. Okay. So now that that is done, let's add in um, our menus and everything. And on this one, I will add a new layer and I will put everything else on this layer. So Sprite. And then we'll just go to desktop and okay put in there I'm gonna shrink the these logos down so they don't take over the whole scene Alright, so there we go. And if we hit play, we have the logo of the game, we have the play and the exit, and probably all we need it right now is the load. Um, but this is a some pretty simple uh, system right now. So in the next episode, we're going to actually get to make sure that these buttons work, and that we actually start building the first level so it's um it may be a little uh, story animation right in the beginning and then it's straight to the first level where you have to actually collect so many items to uh fix your damage ship so this hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mini uh mini uh tutorial and um 
enjoy making video games. See you later, guys.